Oh! This kid is killing me. Ugh! Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Hey, you kid. Where are you going so soon? Isn't it the weekend? Did I oversleep or something? No, you didn't. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to wake you up. It's fine. So, I'm running away with Papyrus and Undyne today. Do you want to join us? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was a great one. I'm crying. <laughs> I know, right? My stomach hurts. <laughs> uh, I'll probably be back before you wake up, okay? <laughs> Love you. Okay, have fun. Love you too. Yeah, she's awesome. A couple of days ago, I confessed to Frisk. I was too nervous and it felt like I was rushing it. But I'm glad she answered to my feelings in the end. I'm happy about it. I really am. But... I don't think I'll last long. Uh... F Frisk? C can ya... Uh... Ain't that uncomfortable? You can read uh, over there. You know? Not really. I'm... <laughs> sure, I'll move. Hmm? But not until you... Say the magic words. Why is your report card on the ceiling? You said bring my grades up. Uh... <laughs> I did say that. Please? <laughs> I said words, Sans. Come on, you know it. Go on, say it. <laughs> mm. <sighs> oh. <laughs> You're really adorable, you know that? Yeah, yeah. Now how about your end of the deal? I said I'd move, so I did. <laughs> You're so Sans, what are you doing on the ground? Wait, is that your backbone? Don't worry, bro. Everything's spine. I just put more backbone into my work as you told me. Sans, I didn't mean literally. Put that back on! Nah, I don't think I'll be needing it anymore. Why is that? Because it's been holding me back. <laughs> oh my god, Sans! <laughs> no, no way, Pap. It was a joke. I, I, I seriously can't grab it. Pap? So, you're me, but you never... <laughs> wow, that must suck. But let me help you. Here, hold out your hand. These should last a little. Use them wisely. Uh, I didn't mean down them all in one go, but it's up to you, I guess. You gotta deal with the consequences. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Are you sure about this, Tori? Yes. 
That letter was already on its way before I sent mine. The description matches with Chara. Of all the monsters that could have seen Princess Chara, it had to be him. In that case, I'll get going. If I teleport, I may be back by nightfall. But what about Frisk? Eh, she'll be safer with you until I come back. I think she went through a lot yesterday. I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. It is my sister whom we are talking about. Even then, I refuse. It's too dangerous for you to come. Besides, I'll go faster alone. She is the only family I got left. Do you expect me to stay with my arms crossed? Princess, I... Ugh. You really are stubborn. My mother used to say that when I want something, I get full of determination. Are you sure? Hotland is pretty far, and Asgore's guards are still looking for you. I'll be fine with signs. Besides, I want to find Char soon. Be careful, my child. I will be. After that, Sans and I left for Hotland. According to Toriel, one of our friends saw Chara in an inn similar to Grillby's. Here we are at Waterfall. Just a little more and we'll take a shortcut to Hotland. <sighs> Princess, are you alright? Huh? Yeah. Don't push yourself too much, okay? Please, tell me if you're tired. You'll see your sister soon. Thank you. Princess, I wanted to tell you something. Hmm? I'm really sorry. You know, I'm sorry for not telling you before. I, I didn't want to lie to you. I just didn't know how to tell you without hurting you. Sons, could you say it to me? I know Toriel wouldn't tell me. Even then, I want to know what happened to Asriel. Well, you know, since we became monsters, every time someone dies, they turn to dust. There are no bodies to bury. A year ago, there was an accident in the alchemy lab of the city. Many monsters died inside. When they put out the fire, they found the clothes of the prince along with a handful of dust. Nobody knows what he was doing there in the first place. I see. It was a year ago. Princess, who was Asriel to you? Asriel was... my only friend in my childhood. Nobody understood me other than him. He was my first love. But I never got the chance to tell him clearly. I guess I was just a kid. So he was your only friend, huh? Is this your magic? Yes. What do you think, Princess? It's beautiful! Sons? We're almost there. Is that a boat? Yep. With this boat, we'll quickly get to Hotland. Come with me. Trust me, Princess. What? We'll find your sister and I'll get you out of here. You're not alone in this. I'll be your friend and partner in this trip. You don't have to do this alone. We're going to Hotland. Please, old friend. Yes. <laughs> Hotland was much hotter than I could have imagined. It was a desert-like place full of rocks and lava. Sans lent me his cloak again. It turns out, it is enchanted. And now instead of protecting me from the cold, it was helping me stand the infernal heat. The road was very long and difficult. But Sans seemed not to be affected by the heat. It was like he couldn't feel the weather. How much did being a skeleton affect him? By the time we arrived at the inn, it was already night. I was surprised to find something very different to Grillby's inn. Is this the place? 
Yep. This place is 